Hi everyone, welcome to BNE's Edu Corner and welcome sa ating tutorial about the effects of changing the values of A, H, and K in the graphs of quadratic functions. Ang isang parabola or ang graph ng quadratic function ay maaaring magkaroon ng iba't ibang transformations depende sa value ng A, H, and K. Maaaring ito ay mag-opens upward or downward, narrows or widens, moves to the left or to the right, vertical translation, at maaari rin itong magkaroon ng horizontal translation. Now, let's have our first example. y is equal to x squared, and this is the simplest form of a quadratic function. Ito ang graph ng y is equal to x squared. At kung mapapansin natin, ang kanyang vertex ay nasa 0, 0. Ang graph na ito ay tinatawag ring parent graph. So, that's y is equal to x squared. Now, let's have the graph of y is equal to ax squared. I-observe natin ang changes kapag ang value ng a ay nagbabago. So, in this example, ilalagay natin yung ating y is equal to x squared or yung parent graph natin. Okay, so ito ang kanyang graph. So, when a is positive, ang parabola natin will open upward. And in this example, so y is equal to x squared, ang a natin ay 1 which is greater than 0 or positive. That's why the parabola opens upward. Now, let's have another example. Sa function y is equal to negative x squared, ang a natin dito ay equal to negative 1, which is a negative number. So, kapag ang a ay negative, the parabola opens downward. So, this is the graph of y is equal to negative x squared. So, yung graph ng y is equal to x squared ay nagkaroon ng reflection below x-axis. Okay? So, again, kapag ang a is negative, the parabola opens downward. Okay, next. Another important thing sa value ng a Let's say y is equal to ax squared when the absolute value of a is greater than 1 or kapag ang absolute value ng a ay mas malaki sa 1, the parabola appears narrower or yung parabola natin ay mas lumalapit dito sa y-axis. Let's have an example. So we have y is equal to x squared. This is our parent graph and a is equal to 1. So this is the graph. What if we have y is equal to 2x squared? So, yung a natin dito is equal to 2, which is greater than 1. Yung absolute value ng 2 is greater than 1, so the parabola appears narrower or mas malapit sa y-axis. Ito ang graph ng ating function na y is equal to 2x squared. Another example, what if we have y is equal to 1 half x squared? The value of a here is 1 half. And ito yung graph ng ating given function na y is equal to 1 half x squared. So what happened? Ang absolute value ng 1 half is 1 half. And kapag ang absolute value ng a ay mas malaki sa 0 pero mas maliit sa 1, ang parabola appears wider. Since ang absolute value ng a dito sa ating function na y is equal to 1 half x squared ay mas maliit sa 1 pero mas malaki sa 0, ang kanyang graph ay wider or mas malayo sa y-axis. So, observe natin. Dito, ang a natin ay 2. Mas malapit siya sa y-axis or narrower. Kapag naman ang a ay greater than 0 pero mas maliit sa 1 kagaya ng 1 half, ang ating graph ay wider or mas lalayo siya sa y-axis. And remember na ang a natin dito sa ating mga given function ay positive kaya the parabolas open upward. Now let's have more examples. What if the value of a is a negative? Okay, so we have y is equal to negative x squared, a is equal to negative 1. Since negative 1 yan, the parabola opens downward. At kunin natin yung absolute value ng negative 1, which is 1. Okay, so ito yung ating magiging graph. Now, paano kapag 
ang function ay y is equal to negative 2x squared. Since a is negative, the parabola opens downward and absolute value ng negative 2 is 2. That means, mula dito sa graph na ito, ang ating parabola ay mas na narrow. Okay? Lalapet sa y-axis. So, tandaan, ang kinukuha natin dito ay absolute value ng negative 2 para malaman kung wider or narrower. So, ito ay narrower than the graph of y is equal to negative x squared. Our last example is y is equal to negative 1 half x squared. Again, we have a negative value of a. So, expect natin na ang ating parabola ay downward ang opening. And, kunin natin ang absolute value ng negative 1 half, which is 1 half. Ang 1 half ay mas malaki sa 0, pero mas maliit sa 1. Kaya naman, ang kanyang graph ay magiging wider. So, those are the effects of changing the values of A sa graphs ng quadratic functions. Now, let's observe the effects of changing the value of K sa graph ng isang quadratic function. So, kapag ganito ang equation ng quadratic function, y is equal to ax squared plus k, when k is greater than 0, okay, that means kapag ang k natin ay positive, ang movement ng parabola ay upward. On the other hand, kapag ang k naman ay negative, ang movement ng ating parabola ay downward. Let's have an example. Ilagay muna natin ulit sa ating graph yung parent graph natin na y is equal to x squared. I-observe natin kung ano yung mangyayari sa graph nito kapag mayroon na tayong value ng k. So in this quadratic function, the value of k is 0, kaya wala pa tayong movement na upward or downward. Ang ating given quadratic function ay y is equal to x squared plus 2. So what will happen? So from this graph, since positive ang ating k, ito ang mangyayari. Ayan ang graph ng y is equal to x squared plus 2. What happened? From this graph, okay, since we have here x squared, y is equal to x squared, and then may k tayo which is equal to 2, nag-move upward ang ating parabola how many units ang movement. We have 1, 2. 2 units upward kasi ang k is a positive value. We have k is equal to 2. What if we have a negative value of k? For example, we have y is equal to x squared minus 2. Ito ang kanyang magiging graph. So, from our parent graph, nagkaroon siya ng movement 2 units pababa. So, we have 1, 2. Since k is equal to negative 2. So, bumaba ang ating parabola ng dalawang units. So, yun yung effect ng changing the value of k sa graph ng quadratic function. Now, ano naman kayang effect ng pagbabago ng value ng h sa graph ng quadratic function? Kapag ang equation ng given quadratic function ay y is equal to a times the square of x minus h, ito ang ating kailangan i-consider. Kapag ang h natin ay greater than 0 or positive, ang parabola ay magmove to the right. Kapag negative ang value ng h, ang parabola natin ay magmove to the left. So, ilagay muna natin ulit ang ating parent graph para ma-observe natin kung ano ang movement ng ating given quadratic function. So, h is equal to 0 dito sa y is equal to x squared, kaya wala pa siyang movement to the left or to the right. Now, let's have this quadratic function. y is equal to quantity x minus 2 squared. Ang a natin dito is 1, so therefore, expect natin na ang parabola will open upward. Now, ang graph ng ating given function ay ito. Nag-move siya to the right ng 2 units. Bakit? Because h is equal to 2. Dahil, dito we have x minus h. Ang h natin, yun yung ating kukuhanin. So, bakit positive 2? Eh, we have here negative 2. So, remember, para hindi kayo nalilito, you just get the opposite sign. Ang h natin ay magiging positive 2. Now, what if we have this quadratic function? y is equal to the square of x plus 2. What will happen? So, from this parent graph, magkakaroon tayo ng movement na 2 units to the left. Bakit 2 units to the left? Because ang h natin is negative 2. Okay? So, positive siya dito sa ating loob ng binomial. Kapag kinuha natin ang h, kunin natin yung opposite sign which is negative 2. 
So, yun ang ating mga considerations. Kapag ang H ay positive, ang movement ay to the right. And kapag ang H ay negative, ang movement ay to the left. What if combinations? We have Y is equal to A times the square of X minus H plus K. Titignan natin ang magiging movement ng ating parabola kapag nagbago ang value ng A, H, and K. I-apply na natin dito yung mga movements na na-mention kanina. So, ilagay muna natin yung ating parent graph at ito ang ating given. Y is equal to the square of X minus 2 plus 1. So, identify natin isa-isa. Ang A natin dito is positive 1. So, ang ating graph ay mag-open upward. Ang H dito sa ating given ay positive 2. And ang K natin is positive 1. So, let's see. Tingnan natin, di ba? Ang A is 1. So, ang ating graph ay hindi magiging narrower or wider. Since A is equal to 1, kapareho ng sa parent graph. Now, yung movements natin to the left or to the right at saka upward or downward. So, tingnan natin. Ito ang ating magiging graph. Since K is positive 1, move tayo upward ng isang unit. And since H is positive 2, move tayo to the right ng 2 units. Ulit, so we have K, 1, upward, and then 2 units to the right since H is positive 2. Ito na yung graph ng ating quadratic function. So, ang parabola natin ay nag-move 1 unit upward and 2 units to the right. Let's have our last example. Ito ang ating given. Y is equal to 2 times the quantity X plus 1 squared minus 1. Ang A natin ngayon ay positive 2. So, ano kaya ang movement ng ating parabola? We know that it will open upward. Magiging narrower ba siya or wider? Tama. Ang ating parabola will become narrower since 2 is greater than 1. A is equal to 2. So, ang H natin is equal to negative 1 since dito sa ating binomial, positive yung nasa loob. Now, yung k is equal to negative 1. So, ito yung ating magiging graph. Kung mapapansin natin, naging narrower yung ating parabola and nag-move siya 1 unit downward and 1 unit to the left kasi ang h natin ay negative 1 at ang k ay negative 1. So, that's it for our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you subscribe for more tutorials.